My oh my, how the time does fly. It is late summer at this point, and in the wine world, that means it's almost harvest time. From the looks of it, we could be anywhere in the world right now. This could be France, it could be California, but in fact, it's my home state of Pennsylvania. We're at Penswood's Winery in the Brandywine Valley. We've reviewed their wines in the past, and I'm a big fan of what they do here, so let's go talk to them. I love those old vines. Uh, Penswood, we started about 10 years ago, and uh, this was an existing vineyard. We have not yet identified what is a, a Pennsylvania style of wine, in general style of wine, because the best yet is to come. I have whites, white grapes, they're fantastic. Yeah. Cabernet Sauvignon this year, it's uh, out of this world. Or Viognier, it's really incredibly beautiful. I think we can make international wines. Uh, no longer is an American wine or Pennsylvania wine, a truly an international wine, we can compete. I'm uh, from, uh, we're uh, really close to where Gino's from, uh, the small tower called, town called, uh, called Pietranico, mm -hmm. in uh, Abruzzo, probably more vines than uh, people. We're gonna have uh, one of the greatest vintage in, uh, in the last like 10 years. Oh, I don't wanna be somebody else. We're, uh, we're working with these vines in this environment and they respond so well to what we're doing. I like to kind of reach out of the box and give people new things. Chamberson is not so unique to Pennsylvania, it's more of an East Coast grape. I always call it a Pinot Noir-esque wine. A little bit of red berry, some, uh, some blackberry note at the front of the palate, and almost like an earth undertone through and through the palate. So this is our white Merlot. It's a bone dry rosé. It's a fresh, easy to drink, light summer spring wine. I'm really impressed uh, with the wines that we tasted today. They're really good. So far, we have to say this has been, and we've tried a lot of them, this has been like the best, I think. Penn's Woods has almost two dozen wines, and you can find most of them at their tasting room or being poured at one of their lively weekend events. From yoga to food trucks to live music, this winery loves the wine lover. It, it is really neat. And just looking out here, and you know, here you are in Pennsylvania looking at these grapes being grown, it's just amazing. It's neat to just see the guys that do actually grow their own grapes. You can usually tell a little bit of a difference in, in the wine. I have a lot of faith into the future of Pennsylvania wine industry, and I would love to be around 10 years from now, 20 years from now, to drink uh, those wines that are coming. I want to thank the staff of Penn's Woods Winery, first for making such fantastic wines and putting Pennsylvania on the wine map, but also for being so warm and inviting too. Thanks so much for watching here on Wine Living, and as always, check back for more adventures here and beyond.